Hello, in this video we're going to look at a production function that has a sign function in it. Here's the firm's short run production function. We're going to restrict L to be greater than or equal to 0 but less than or equal to 8 pi. We want to graph the production function. So I'll start here with a table. I'll put various values of L into this production function and calculate the corresponding quantity of output. So if L is 0, we have the following, and this sine function here at will just equal minus pi divided by 2, and that's just minus 1. Then we have this plus 1, and that will cancel, and this will just equal 0. And then if we put L equals 3 into our production function, the sine of 3 fourths minus pi divided by 2 is minus 0.7317. And then we got the plus 1 here. Doing the math, we get an output of 1.07 units. And we can see the rest of these values here. If labor 6, if labor equals 4 times pi, output is 8. And finally, if labor is 8 pi, output goes back to 0. So the graph of this production function will look like this. This production function displays increasing marginal returns to labor diminishing marginal returns to labor, and then this negatively sloped section, here we have negative marginal returns to labor. I use the following website to graph this function. Now let's solve for the average product of labor, and then let's graph that function. So here's our production function, same one once again. Let's get the average product of labor. Average product of labor is a production function divided by units of labor. So we get this result right here. Let's just go ahead and graph it. And we have this inverted U-shaped looking curve for the average product of labor. First increasing, reaching some maximum, then decreasing here. All right, now let's look at the marginal product of labor. Let's get the marginal product of labor from this production function and then graph it. So we need to take the derivative of the production function with respect to L. And note here that the derivative of the sine of what's in parentheses here will equal the following one-fourth the cosine of what's in parentheses. So therefore, the marginal product of labor is going to be as follows. So again, the derivative of this sine function is one-fourth cosine of what's in parentheses here. Uh, the derivative of 1 is just 0, and then we got this 4 hanging around. So simplifying a little bit, this 4 times 1 fourth cancels, and we have the marginal product of labor. Graphing the marginal product of labor looks something like this. Increasing marginal returns, then diminishing returns set in, and then negative returns set in here. Marginal product of labor dips below the, the x-axis or l-axis here. All right, uh, what we want to find now is the firm's maximum output level. So we're going to do that by taking the marginal product of labor and setting the marginal product of labor equal to zero and then solving for L. So that's where maximum output will occur. So setting the marginal product of labor equal to zero and now solving for L. One thing to note here is that the cosine of pi divided by 2 equals zero. So what we're going to try to do is get what's in parentheses here equal to pi divided by 2. So the way I do that is I take what's in parentheses, and I want that to equal pi divided by 2. So now we're just going to solve this for L. Moving this minus pi divided by 2 over to the right-hand side. Simplifying some more. Multiplying through by 4. L equals 4 pi. So once again, if L equals 4 pi, if we were to plug 4 pi into the marginal product of labor expression here, it would indeed equal 0. So the number of workers that maximizes output occurs at 4 times pi. Now to figure out the output level at 4 times pi, which would be the maximum output, we're going to replace this L in the production function with 4 pi. And now we're just going to simplify this. So 4 pi divided by 4 is just pi. Uh, in parentheses here, it's just going to simplify down to pi divided by 2. 
the sine of pi divided by 2 is just 1. And we have this other one here, so we're going to get 4 times 2, or 8. So that is the maximum output for this firm. It occurs when L equals 4 pi, and when L is 4 pi, the firm produces 8 units of output. Okay, I'll stop here.